If you get SNAP benefits, I've got some bad news. You could end up getting less food money this year. Let's talk about a few of the reasons why your benefits might have dropped, and then we'll talk about what you can do to hopefully get them back. First, if you get Social Security or VA benefits, you need to know that the very same COLA that brings your benefits up will also bring your SNAP benefits down. It's not fair, but these COLA increases that are intended to adjust for inflation and rising living costs mean that you're bringing in more money, and that means that you'll qualify for less food benefits. Some people may even find that they're suddenly making too much to get SNAP benefits at all anymore. Of course, if you're working, there's a whole different problem at play. Many states increase their minimum wage at the start of each year, and that can also mess up the benefits you receive from other programs like food stamps. As your wages go up, your benefits go down and could even disappear. This is called the benefits cliff, and it's honestly dangerous. Low-income families have access to many different support programs, including food stamps, Medicaid, TANF, LIHEAP, child care subsidies, housing vouchers, and so much more. If your state implements a minimum wage increase that bumps you above the limit for these programs, you can lose a lot more in benefits that you gain in increased wages. This is why a lot of families end up trapped in poverty in America, because you have to grow your income by a lot very quickly in order to offset those benefit losses. Anyway, this is a topic that gets me very riled up. So let's move on. Let's look at some other reasons why you might be getting less EBT this year. There is a group that is often overlooked in these discussions, our military families. About 14% of enlisted military families are on food stamps, and they also receive a basic allowance for housing, or BAH, which is supposed to help them pay for shelter. But there is a twist. BAH counts as part of your gross income calculation for SNAP, and those rates go up every year. So if you're a military family and your SNAP went down, it could be due to an increase in your BAH rate. There are other reasons this can happen to you too. If you've been overpaid for food benefits in the past, you could experience a reduction as they try to take that money back. Sometimes people receive more benefits than they're eligible for for many reasons, including administrative errors. But whatever the cause, the system will try to reclaim those funds. And this process is important for maintaining the integrity and fairness of the SNAP program, but it can be very painful. Imagine a family already struggling, suddenly facing a notice of overpayment they didn't even know about, and now they get less food money going forward. It's stressful and challenging, and it's often not the fault of the people who are affected. Now, if this is the reason that you're getting less SNAP benefits this year, you should receive a letter about that. Now, of course, it is possible that your benefits have been reduced as the result of your recertification. If you've resubmitted paperwork recently and your information has changed or you missed critical details, this could cause your SNAP benefits to be impacted. Now, if your paperwork is stuck in a backlog, your benefits may even stop temporarily while you wait for that information to be processed. This whole thing is very frustrating, I know. While we're talking about SNAP losses, it's a good time to talk about ways to supplement your income. This brings us to our sponsor, Cash Kick. Cash Kick is an app that offers an easy way to earn extra cash online by filling out surveys, trying new products, and playing games. When I signed up, I was excited to see that they have some offers for games I already wanted to play, and some games will pay you up to $130 to complete all of the levels in the offer. There are many different games available, from basic card and bingo games to more complex options. They'll also pay you to complete surveys or try new services from different companies like online banks. Of course, that's just what's available right now when those offers can change at any time. You can cash out to your PayPal account once you hit just $10. It's free to join and you can sign up using the link below. Why is this relevant to our discussion? Well, for families navigating the complexities of programs like SNAP, every little bit of extra income can make a big difference. Cash Kick is not a get-rich-quick scheme, but it is a reliable way that you can earn extra cash from the comfort of your home. This can be really helpful if you're dealing with SNAP cutbacks. But now let's talk about what you can do to fight back if you're getting less food stamps than you used to. First, make sure to look for any notices that you may have missed. If you've received a letter from the SNAP office, it's important to read it carefully so that you can understand what's going on. Next, look for errors. Mistakes happen. When the SNAP office makes a mistake that gives you too much money, they'll always try to take it back, but it's usually up to you to find mistakes that are in their favor. Make sure that your income, family size, and expenses have been recorded accurately. If your rent goes up, they need to know. If your work hours are cut, they need to know. 
Mistakes in these areas can cause your benefits to be wrongly reduced. And if you're a senior, make sure that you're reporting those out-of-pocket medical expenses for an extra deduction. It can make a huge difference. If you find a mistake, gather some documentation to back up your claims. This could include pay stubs, rent receipts, utility bills, or medical expenses. These documents are essential and should be submitted to your SNAP caseworker. Contacting your local SNAP office can take a long time. We've seen a lot of news lately about backlogs and overwhelmed call centers, so it may not be useful to call in. You may need to go in person, send an email, or just file an appeal directly. If you believe your benefits were incorrectly reduced, you can file an appeal. The notice you receive from the SNAP office should include instructions on how to do that. Follow those instructions carefully and make sure to take action before the deadline. At this point, it may be helpful to consult with an attorney or a legal aid organization. We have a list of free legal aid resources at lowincomerelief.com legal dash aid that may be able to help you. Now going forward, it's important to keep your information as updated as possible. This will help prevent overpayments that can cause clawbacks. If your income, household size, address, or expenses change, you need to let the office know immediately. If your appeal leads to a hearing, make sure that you attend it and present your case. Bring your documents and make sure that you articulate clearly why you believe your new benefit amount is incorrect. Practice ahead of time so that you can present your side well. While you wait for all of this to resolve, make sure to check out other nutrition assistance programs that may be able to help you get by. There's WIC for kids and pregnant women, the Commodity Supplemental Food Program for seniors, and so much more. We talk about all of these programs here on our channel, so make sure to subscribe and check out our other videos for details.